In India, the manufacturing sector's contribution to the GDP is only 15 percent, and just 1.8 percent in global manufacturing. If you look at it from the manufacturing sector's contribution to their respective GDP, it's no way compared to even the BRICS nations' totals. China's manufacturing is somewhere at 34 percent. Thailand is about 36 percent. Indonesia and Malaysia at 25 percent. So really, and even from our own manufacturing policy and the 11th plan's targets, we were to reach about 11 percent, but we are nowhere near that. 11th plan reached only 7.7 percent in manufacturing. Although the manufacturing policy itself has very clearly said that we want to increase it from 15 percent to about 25 percent by the about 2020. This is a very tall order. However, even though it is definitely a tall order, I also want to say how the impossible can also be achieved in India. Agriculture, as you know, as I said some time ago, really gives employment for nearly 60% of the Indian population. But that's a sector in which productivity has suffered. That's a sector in which underemployment prevails. That's a sector in which technology has not really done any favors to those who are employed there. Extension work of the Indian government, the agricultural extension services, which are expected to give them better technology, transfer of technology, use, uh, useful technology to cut down on the monotony, to reduce labor, physical labor, for better you know, storage of grains, uh, from the farm to the storeroom, none of which has happened successfully, you still have great results coming in agriculture. And where are they coming from? Not, in, from, not from states where already mechanization has uh, taken place, not from states where labor is becoming scarce, but from states like Madhya Pradesh. Excellent results in agriculture. And in agriculture, particularly when you're talking about practices which are not really large scale, scientifically you know, upgraded. Yes, the practices are getting improved, the water utilization and other things. But agricultural output in Madhya Pradesh and agricultural growth in Madhya Pradesh is a classic example that within five to 10 years, if there's a concerted attempt, even in a sector like agriculture where holdings have become fragmented, highly fragmented, <clears throat> Today, you do not have large holdings where you can do large-scale commercial cultivation. Holdings all over India is fragmented, but I'm happy to say the fragmentation has not resulted in fall in output. Smaller farms are better producing, otherwise Madhya Pradesh's output, uh, Madhya Pradesh's achievement in agriculture wouldn't have happened. And therefore, if that can happen in a sector like agriculture, which is still toiling under underemployment, which where benefits of extension work has not reached. But if it is possible to achieve double digit, consistently double digit growth in agriculture, I'm sure the similar kind of a thing uh, is not difficult to achieve in manufacturing too.